Yeah, so I'm just inkling to stay at the Japanese style room, the tatami ones, because they're incredibly comfortable.、Um, and I'm thinking about going back to the one I stayed at before, as you guys have seen in one of my previous videos. So, just booked the hotel for sub $30, and it's the same one where we had the tatami mats. And interestingly, I didn't know before that it's actually the more expensive room. So, last time I got a really good deal off of that since it was the only one remaining. And I think when that happens, when inventory goes down, Um, at the last minute, then you may get a really good deal. So, wait for that last minute deal. I actually ended up getting a twin bedroom, and that one is actually、uh, sub $30. So, if I'd pay an additional six for the tatami room. So, after spending two nights in Kyoto, I finally came back to the Nishi Kinohama station area. And that's one stop away from the Kaizuka stop. Just to clarify, because in my last video regarding Nishi Kinohama Park, there was mention of Kaizuka as、uh, the area, neighborhood. So today's a little bit warmer, but not as humid as I thought Japan is known for. Perhaps it's much hotter in a week or two. So, as you may know,、uh, I wrote a survey question of which of the five cities appealed to you most. A. Fukuoka, it was like Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and Sapporo, and none of the above. Other, please comment below. And although I didn't get a whole lot of responses,、uh, I got 20% Hiroshima and then 80% Fukuoka. And to be quite honest, both of them seem very appealing and I wanted to go and experiment with the Shinkansen, which I did for the first time today. But for a much shorter ride from Kyoto to Shinosaka Station. 
So just wanted to thank the subscribers who started subscribing to my channel. Hit uh, since I last checked last night or this morning, I have 68 subscribers. So kudos! I'm very um, flattered by these results, and and basically. Uh, the last two nights at Kyoto was just R and R. I just stayed in, just did a little catching up. Finally got uh, one, a video uploaded. Finally figured out um, how to, to do TikTok. So I, I was able to get a 1080, uh, 60 FPS quality video. Um, 1080 by 1920 for smartphones and so the shorts I have previously uploaded fairly recently on YouTube shorts have been subpar only 720p because of just cutting it using the YouTube app and if you do it using Resolve then it's much better and that's what I figured it out that's what I figured out yesterday very excited about the ability to create um, TikTok videos and uh, bring to you more detailed content on traveling outside the confines of tourism, uh, not only in touristic Japan, but in my previous videos, you should see some good uh, material on touristic Thailand. So much more to come. What is up guys? Um, I am back at that same hotel where um, I did the video uh, on Osaka and um, what you have here is basically the same room, Kitami, but with a bed. It's actually fairly interesting and it's basically the room that I talked to you about earlier. I would say the only difference is that last time they could fold away one of the small um, tatami mats so that it saves space. But since this is um, an actual bed, uh, you cannot. Um, it's actually just a large bed, so you, you're not able to save space. So only corner you can really sit at is here or there. Cheers, just having some roasted tea um, with some cooling from the air AC. And just gotta say this tatami setup is actually really comfortable. I really like it. That's actually the main reason why I came back here. I just love sitting on clean tatami, sort of. There's actually a little bit of a cushion to it that feels really comfortable. So if you do come to Japan, I would highly recommend getting it at an affordable price. <laughs> 